Today I'm testing out PyDrive Wire's printing feature. The printing feature has been there for a while in PyDrive Wire, but it's probably not something that people think about or use very much. Now I do want to point out that this is an experimental feature of PyDrive Wire, and you do need to make sure that the feature is enabled and I will show you exactly how to do this. So if you have PyDrive Wire running, which I have it running here, I'll just make this a little bit bigger so you can see it better. There's a set of commands called DW printer and the one that you want to look at is actually DW printer status. And this will tell you whether the PyDrive Wire print engine is enabled or disabled. So in order to do printing with PyDrive Wire, you want to make sure that this is enabled. If it says that it's disabled, what you actually want to do is you want to add a couple options on the command line. If you list the PyDrive Wire help options, you will notice that there is an option here called experimental options. In order to enable printing, you have to set one of these experimental options. What you would run from the command line is PyDrive Wire dash X printer. And this would enable the printing option. So just for example, port uh, 6809, just let's say for example. So when you run this, you'll note on the command line here, it says DW server enabling experimental printing support. So again, you can type DW printer status, and you can see that the print engine is enabled. If you don't have the print engine enabled, what happens when you print is the data is simply dropped. The Coco will print to drive wire and it will basically go nowhere. You won't get any output. I want to note that if you are on CocoPy, then this is enabled by default. And also, if you download a binary version of PyDriveWare from GitHub, if you download one of the releases, like the upcoming release that I'm preparing right now, V0.6, if you download that release, printing will be enabled by default. Just confirm it by running the command DW printer status. I'm going to show you one other way to verify that the printing option is enabled using the web browser. Okay, so I have my web browser here, and I can go to the PyDrive Wire web page. Normally, use port 6800. And if you go over to the command console, you can type the same command that we typed before DW printer status. And here you see that the printing engine is enabled, and here are the other options, which I'll talk about the other options. A little bit later. So you can use the PyDrive Wire printing module both in Nitrous 9 and in Disk Basic, but what you can do with it is a little bit limited. So I will show you what you can actually do with this once you have it enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and start up 
my main VM here. Let's go ahead and let this start booting. And we'll come back when this is actually finished. Okay, so I have Matrix 9 EOU running here. The first thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that I actually have all of the DriveWire modules loaded. So you type mdir to get the module directory. And if you take a look here, we have DWIO, RBDW, we have the DriveWire drives. And we also have the virtual serial. And we have the SCDWP printing module and the printer driver. So if you don't know if you have the correct printing driver loaded, this is how you can check it. I also had somebody ask if I want to replace the modules to make printing work where that is, and that's normally at dd modules and then uh, usually the CPU type 6309L2 or 6809L2 modules and in here are all the kernel modules the DriveWire virtual serial and printing modules are SCF modules and uh, if I do something little fancier oops like this see if that works these are all of the um, well they're not there's some other things here as well but you can see scdwp dot driver and p scdwp those are the two modules that you need to have loaded let me make it a little more clear by doing this. So these are the two modules that you need to have loaded in your kernel in order for the PyDrive layer printing support to work. So if you have this enabled, I just want to have this other window here in the background. If you have this enabled, you should be able to do something basic like this. Do a directory and output it to the printer. And we can watch the window in the background, the PyDriveWare window. We should see the output come up there and see what the server does. Yep, you see the bytes went by. Now, if you notice, there's something, there's an output here, printing complete, and it tells you exactly where the file went. In this case, it went to my temp directory and uh, the output is a PDF. So if I try to open this, if I say open temp cocoaprints10.pdf and I go ahead and open this file, here is the output of the dir command that I just ran. So if I change an option on this, uh, let me say Turn off debug for a second. Okay. Um, DW print status. You can see the output format is PDF. So I can go ahead and change this. DW print format text. So now it's text format. So if I go back to the emulator, and I do exactly the same thing that I did before. We see uh, on the output screen here, it uh, created file number 11.txt. Go ahead and look at that. CocoaPrints11.txt. Here is the text that came from it. On Nitrous 9, you should be able to use any program that accesses the printer in this way. You will be able to capture the output on the PyDrive Wire server 
and it can automatically create a PDF or create a text file as I have shown here. I do want to note that it doesn't support any printer formatting, so only text is supported right now. Okay, so this is the small example for Nitrous 9. Next, I want to show how you can do drive wire printing from RS-DOS or HDB-DOS. Okay, so I'm here on the Color Computer Archive and I went ahead and did a search for drive wire and what we're looking for here is we're looking for this disk drive wire printing with disk basic Robert Galt and this is a zip file and that contains a few different things which I have right here okay if we look at his readme file um, I'll let you go ahead and read this yourself but uh, it works either with Disk Basic or HDB DOS. I'm going to be demonstrating HDB DOS. But he gives you exact instructions on how to run this. And then he says once it's loaded, you can do LList and print minus 2. Normal things that you would do with printing from Basic. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try this. So on my DriveWire server, I have the HDB DOS disk for Coco3 loaded. And I also have another example disk where we're going to run a basic program that's going to do some printing. All right, so let's get out of Nitrous 9. Now I'm going to bring up MAME, but instead of using the standard COCO3, I'm going to use the DriveWare HDB DOS version, which this is a COCO3, which has the HDB DOS ROM built into it. So this will automatically be talking to DriveWare over the Becker port. So we just bring this up. All right, so as I showed a moment ago, I have two different disks. Disk 0 has my McPaint disk, and disk 1 has this DW print. So, pretty much all that you do to load this in HDB DOS on a Coco 3 is you run this bin file here. Okay. It ran it. So, let's see what happens now if we print something. Turn my debugging back on so we can see what's going on in the background. Okay. So on here, this McPaint disk, we have a program called print doc. And it says insert the McPaint.doc disk and press a key start the paper and press the key. So if I press the key and we watch the window over here on the left side of my screen, we're going to see a bunch of data scrolling by. So this is all the printer data printing out the McPaint manual. Then it's going to have a really long beep. <laughs> okay, my ears hurt. Don't know about yours. All right, but uh, this finished and it printed to a text file, Coco prints 12.txt. So let's go ahead and take a look at this file, and here we go. We have the McPaint manual that was captured through DriveWire. DW print status. So I'm going to do this again. I'm just going to switch it back to PDF. DW print format PDF. And I'm going to run exactly the same thing. Okay. Now it's on number 14. So if I say open temp coco prints 14.pdf, here is the McPaint manual just rendered. All of the text is basically rendered as a PDF. So 
that's all that's been done here. Nothing really, really fancy. But it looks pretty nice. This is supposed to be an Epson, Epson printer style font. Maybe, um, maybe I can try to get a DMP style font instead of an Epson font, but this is fine. So this is a quick example of how to use the printing support that's built into PyDriveWire and how to get text and PDF formatted output out of it in the Just 9 and also in HDB DOS. So thanks for watching this little demo. As I said in my previous video, I'm making these little short videos as I'm testing various features of PyDriveWire and just basically demonstrating how to use them. Alright. So I think the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to test a little bit of networking features. I'm going to test the SSH. Alright, bye everyone.